Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving quadratic equations by factoring. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. If a quadratic equation cannot be factored, then it will have at least one imaginary solution. Think about that for a moment. Let me know what you get in the comment section down below. All right. Let's go through our answer here. So let's go see if we can find this to be false. We have to find an example of a quadratic equation that cannot be factored, but if it doesn't have an imaginary solution, it's only real solutions, then we're good. But what about this quadratic? x squared minus 10 equals 0. Can you factor that? Well, no. No two numbers multiply to be negative 10 with real solutions, right? Or and not, sorry, it'll have real solutions, but like in factored form, nice and neat. No two numbers multiply by negative 10, but add to be zero. But if I add a 10 to both sides, I have x squared equals a positive 10. I take the square root, and x equals a plus or minus the square root of 10. Now, the square root of 10 is not imaginary, it's still a real number. And so we have x equals plus or minus a real number. It just goes on forever, it's irrational. So, we don't have at least one imaginary solution. So we can conclude that this statement is false, if I can write the A right. So this statement is false. So that is our final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.